We interrupt. I interrupt this broadcast. We interrupt our program to bring. This is a test. train just passed. It's number nine. That's two down. We've got eight more to go. Talking about the ten artists you need to know about 2000, 2010. This is, this is a bit of a Ronnie Harrell moment right now. Now, this next guy is number eight on the list. Goes by the name of Mellow X. Gotta give a big shout out to Roy. Put me onto this guy, seriously. Sneaks into the UK. Did a sold out show at Cargo. And this guy is he, he's what could be described as a triple threat. He's a rapper, a DJ, a producer. And this is one of his tracks in the background. He did like a free mixtape where... He basically remixed instrumentals for the Maxwell album. It's one of the biggest R&B albums of this year. This is one of the hottest scenes of the world, y'all. Y'all created this. Some of the dopest guys I know. Hey, I didn't even see you there, man. How you doing? This is Mellow X, Jungle Gym Magazine. I'm about to get this interview popping. Said it right this time. Bitch! Mellow X is a DJ. MC producer amongst many other things, and I'm a Brooklyn native on the planet, so it's like Flatbush. <laughs> My style of music is whatever I want it to be, it's like I'm a scatterbrain, so my music is scattered all over the place, different genres, different things. I make, I make experimental free music, so I get to experiment with any genre I want, I'm free to do what I want. How did Renaissance Man come about? Um, well, being that I did a lot of things, DJing, photography, I did like uh, Mickey Fax first press photo, did the cover for Jam for Theophilus. Um, I took Mad, like I used to do a lot of photos, a lot of mixing, I used to have my own clothing line, I DJ, MC produce. And people were like, yo, you're a renaissance man. I always knew what it meant, but I knew what it was, but I never knew what it actually meant. So once I looked it up, I seen what it meant. I was like, I was stuck with it because it actually described my state of mind, which was, you know, doing everything. It all started with me being a rapper, so that kind of influenced me to pursue production and, and DJing. Suffer Renaissance came out about a year or two ago, in 2008. And um, that was at a moment where I was known more as a DJ. A few people knew me as an MC from, you know, back in the day or from like people who just knew of my music. But it wasn't like the main thing. Mustafa Renaissance just wanted to show all my different sides. That's why I had beats on there, I had remixes, I had me spitting, I had just songs that I liked that I just put on there. And um, that was just to prove that point of me being a DJ MC producer. And Mustafa the God King is more like a reflecting, a reflection project. I'm reflecting of a. Uh, Reflecting on all the places I've been, things that I've done. You know. The title Mustafa the God King came about because uh, from when Mustafa Renaissance came around that time, I had this feeling that whatever I put my mind to, whatever I said would happen, will happen. Um, and it started to happen. I was like, Yo, you know what, I'm going to travel the world, I'm going to go to these places. And the last track of Mustafa Renaissance, I actually shot it out in Australia and then ended up going to Australia. So it's kind of having that idea that I'm the god of my destiny, you know, the god of, of, of my journey and my adventures and the king of my castle. So that's where that title came from, uh, Mustafa the God King. And um, Rise of the Merch is just like, you know, merch, meaning merchandise, all my jewelry I used to wear. So. It's kind of like me getting back on my shit, you know, showing, showing these people, you know, I can spit, you know what I mean? I'm time back. Galax music all day. We getting it popping in the 2010. We taking this into the future right now, you know what I mean? Galax is a record label that me and my homeboy, Visionary Diary, started. Basically, right now, it's more friends and family. We got Nick in the two, Low Friday. Um, we're just working on, you know, working on my career and helping them with theirs. 
it. So they're in the you know, beginning stages. Low Friday's in the beginning stages and making the two is working on the next project now. So just trying to build a home for what we feel is, you know, our sound. On the album, Mustafa the God King. The features we have, I produce I produce every track besides for one, which is called Black Apple with Love. That's produced by Sham Tracks. Um, I've been working with Sham Tracks since my first album in like 2003. And um, his music is just like, he's just a real good producer. He's been a good producer since I started producing. So I always, I always find myself going back and jacking one of his beats to use. Um, besides him, there's Jesse Boykin III, one of my frequent collaborators, um, a real good friend of mine, a good uh, brother in this music industry thing. And we have Little Friday, he's my homie since about fifth grade, and um, Nikki Natu, female MC from Brooklyn, New York, real dope MC. And Chris Turner, another singer, songwriter who uh, in the beginning stages of his like journey he's about to take in the music, in the music, uh, in his own music, working on his own music. So that's about it, man. I like to keep it friends and family with everything I do, you know. Sonic Intercourse has been, you know, mixed and ready to go for uh, for a while now. Um, Hopefully it'll be coming out August or September. So we'll see how that goes. Have I been testing out the album in any clubs? Yes, I have uh, a few clubs and tours that we've been on. I always slip in my own music to see how it sounds on the big speakers. That helps me mix it too. I always go back and tweak stuff after. I make music for myself and I, I hope that people like it. That's usually how it goes. Forget the motion and the ocean, baby. Let's talk about the motions of my hair up in your skin is filled with lotion. Heavily standing for the fragrance of all this shit. I need a hit, hope you know it's in the focus. But my style got us losing all focus. City got your love like Pepsi. Spine on trying to get a guy like 50. While I'm steady keeping out the girl skirt spinny. No sniping in my back end. I'm just trying to dance a little, maybe romance, but I ain't holding hands to kizzle. By tomorrow, I'll be up with the Donald Potter chicken with players that could have started. What's up? It's Mello X, and I uh, just finished my Jungle Gym magazine interview. Had a good time, and I'm gonna stay out here and uh, throw some rocks into the pond and play with the ducks. Peace.